Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Um, we want to welcome any newcomers, but I don't see any, so we'll just proceed. Um, let's see. Um, first of all, I'd like to introduce our uh, guest speaker, Jaziana Chale, with us as our speaker and musician today. As most of you know, Jaziana is a longtime and much loved member of the Unity community in Central Ohio, a frequent speaker and musician at all our area churches. Jaziana is an advocate for abundant living at every age, and in her ministry, she has a foundational mission of love. In June, she will be ordained as an interfaith minister through the new Seminary for Interfaith Studies. The title today is Everyday Joy. Jaziana, thanks so much for being with us today. Okay, before Jaziana takes over, I'd like to just um, go over a few announcements. As most of you know, we have a yoga class here at the church every Thursday at 1 p.m. Yogi Tamra Leeper is the instructor. It's on a donation basis and open to all. No, no yoga experience is needed. It's always a wonderful, relaxing time. Looking ahead, as you're making your summer plans, don't forget the summer solstice drumming circle and concert at the church on Thursday, June 20th. The drum circle will begin at 6.30. You can bring your own drum or use one of the percussion instruments we'll have on hand. And the concert begins at seven o'clock, featuring are you ready? The hippie nostalgia band, the Bee People! Yay. <laughs> Yay! Drumming and peace and love music to celebrate the day of the longest light. I can't think of a more perfect way to, to celebrate the solstice. Also, our annual summer concert will be held on Saturday, August 17th at 6 p.m. It will be on the back lawn if weather permits. And already a wonderful lineup of talented musicians has signed up. If, um, and our volunteers always provide lovely refreshments at halftime, or intermission, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a great show, and always on a donation basis. So please put that on your calendar, August 17th. And many thanks to all of you for joining us today and for your ongoing support of our ministry whether through PayPal, through our website, or here in our offering baskets. We're grateful for your support. I invite you now to become centered for an opening prayer. In unity, we are very inclusive in our prayers, holding the highest in mind and heart for ourselves, for each other, our communities, and our world. If you're listening in online, remember you can send in a prayer request anytime through our website, unitydelawareohio.org. Just use the prayer request tab at the top of the page. Our prayer song this morning is God Is, I Am by Eddie Watkins, Jr. <laughs>
Thank you for another opportunity to gather together, to experience love, support, connection, and community in this beautiful, welcoming space. We're grateful for continuous blessings of peace, prosperity, harmony, vibrant health, and well-being in our sanctuary and those viewing online at any, at any point in space and time. Thank you for a day filled with unlimited possibilities for joy. Sweet Spirit, we ask the highest and best outcomes for our brothers and sisters across the globe, for our animal partners, and for living beings everywhere. Thank you for bestowing us with divine guidance, discernment, and wisdom as we navigate daily life. May we fully open our hearts to be compassionate, understanding, accepting, and forgiving of others. Thank you for your healing presence and power flowing through anyone experiencing physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, or financial challenges. We're grateful for our expanding spiritual vision our alignment that with all that is true and for mindful, intentional living. Thank you for blessing dedicated caregivers and our elders. May we treat those who have paved our way with respect and honor. Thank you that decision makers are guided by divine wisdom, love, integrity, and fairness for all. Thank you for peace, positive communication, and patience across all college campuses. Thank you for restoring communities affected by adverse weather events. Infinite Presence, thank you for truth principles, for the privilege of learning, reminding, and supporting each other in ways to live more authentically and more fully. We're grateful for everyday joy available no matter what circumstances occur. Thank you for teaching us to trust and know our lives are unfolding perfectly in divine order and timing. As the school year ends and summer travel begins, we give thanks for safety and well-being for our children. Thank you for meeting all our needs in easy and joyous ways. Thank you for unexpected miracles that surprise and delight us. May we always be love, share love, and inspire love. For the infinite blessings received and those on the way, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. And we are so grateful. And so it is. Amen. There is only love, Michael Gott, one of my very favorite songs. In this moment, in this place, I remember
sets us free Happy 
before I have a reason. I thought of Identity co-founder Charles Fillmore's inspiring words in his 93rd year. I fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm and spring forth with the mighty faith to do that which is mine to do. Whenever I read or say these words, I feel energized, uplifted, and compelled to smile. How we do anything is how we do everything. You might have heard that before. So just a change in perspective and perhaps a different approach might work in this instance. So after pondering on this concept, it occurred to me that like most things, we have a choice. Like the Nike slogan says, just do it. Choose joy. Sermon over. Proverbs 17.22 teaches, a joyful heart is good medicine but depression drains one's strength. Years ago at Unity of Columbus, the YOUers, Youth of Unity, held a rally, which was inspiring and lots of fun. And so one of my favorite songs I used to share was called, I'm Alive, Awake, Alert, Enthusiastic. Approaching life in this spirit brings forth joy. So the song is on the internet, along with emotions, and what makes the song fun is you start out slow, and then you just keep speeding up. So no matter how I practiced, I couldn't speed up. But anyway, I'm going to show you the motions, and maybe we can do it together just to see how much fun this is. And so the first one, there's only six little motions. So I'm alive, put your hand in the head, the tambourine is ready. I'm alive, and then right here, I'm awake, I'm alert. Enthusy, you get right here. Enthusy, astic, clap, tick. And that's it. <laughs> now we do that all together and we're going to go slow because I can't go fast. Okay, there <laughs> we go. I'm a white, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Yay! Isn't that fun? And just imagine just doing that faster and faster. That's the only speed I can go without getting all confused. <laughs> so the point of that is, and you got the point, is about laughter. Laughter each day is one of the components for experiencing everyday joy. Victor Hugo said, laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. Research shows that children laugh about 400 times a day. How many times a day do adults laugh? <laughs> About 15. <laughs> Big difference. Have you ever driven past a group of children on a playground or a park? Don't they have this like shrieky, squealing type of sound? It's the same on every playground. It's the same at every park. And every time I drive by one of them, I'm squealing and laughing because they're squealing and laughing. According to the Mayo Clinic, laughter has both short and long-term benefits. It helps with your intake of oxygen-rich air, stimulates your heart, lungs, and muscles, increases your brain endorphins, and relieves stress. Over the long term, laughter can help improve your immune system, relieve pain by causing your body to produce its own natural painkillers, and make it easier to cope with difficult situations and improve one's mood. From Charles Fillmore's The Healing Power of Joy, there are various methods of erasing fear from the mind and preventing its congestion in the body. One of the most direct and effective shatterers of fear is laughter. He shared that a country doctor <coughs> pardon me, healed a woman of a large cyst by telling her a funny story at which she laughed so heartily that the fluid broke loose and passed away. There's even laughter yoga. Tamara knows about that. It's practiced in 110 countries. It doesn't use humor, jokes, or comedy. It combines laughter exercises with yoga breathing exercises. Some of my most satisfying days have been the ones I've spent laughing the most, especially about silly things with people I love. Love, the second component of everyday joy. Why? Because the gospel, in one word, is love. According to one of my friends, Google, it's estimated that more than 100 million love songs have been recorded. And why is that? Because love makes the world go round. 
Love is a many splendored thing. There is only love. And what the world needs now more than ever is love. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. 1 Corinthians 13, 7. Relationships mean the world. Think about this community, for instance. What brought you here? What got you here? And what keeps you here? I bet love and connection probably top that list. This love that flows through us, from us, and to us, extends to everyone and everything around us. We only have to look at the brightly colored flowers, the vegetables, the plants, our animal partners, and the clear blue skies. And yes, even the rain that we're going to have later today is part of this beauty and part of our everyday joy. One day I was mowing my lawn, which is usually a mundane activity. I was feeling hot and a bit frustrated, and I thought, what can I do to bring in joy to this activity? So I started counting the blades of grass. I realized there's not a way to count them all. So when you leave here today, if you're in person, I invite you to pick a patch of grass and see if you're able to count the blades. If you're online, I invite you to go outside and look out your window and pick a patch and see if you can count the blades of grass. And so the point of that is, whenever I mow the lawn now, it's a reminder of the unlimited abundance available. Because if you can't count the blades of grass, then you can't count anything else that you might need. We have a distribution issue, we don't have a lack issue. So this idea can be applied to any ordinary task because all tasks contain a joy seed. These two components of everyday joy, laughter and love, are prevalent in the life of Vincent Dransfield. Perhaps you saw his story on the Today Show. He lives in Little Falls, New Jersey, and he says, I've been very, very, very lucky in my life. On March 28, 2024, Vincent celebrated his 110th birthday. Mm -hmm. The oldest man in the world right now is 111. Vincent has always been active and has never had any major health issues. He lives in a three-story house, does his own laundry in the basement, goes to bed at night on the third floor, drives his own car every day to get a cup of coffee and maybe a meal. He started working on a dairy farm at the age of 15. He was a volunteer fireman for 80 years. Part of that is the chief. After his wife passed in 1992, he started going to the firehouse every day from three to five to connect with friends. His granddaughter says he knows everybody's name in town and he has a great sense of humor. He told the interviewer, I'm ready to put on my boxing gloves and box. Two of his secrets to longevity are, I keep positive, I never think any other way when something's wrong, and most importantly, knowing people and loving people makes me live longer. Reading this story prompted me to call one of my Unity friends from years ago. I asked how she was. Imagine my surprise when she responded, I'm laying in the hospital. She was so grateful for the call. I'm grateful we reconnected. To this point, I invite you this week to connect with someone you haven't spoken with in a long time. Texting is great. However, hearing someone's voice means so much more. Everybody wants to know they matter. Everyone wants to know that somebody cares. You can experience the most interesting interactions, connections, while completing the most ordinary activities, like grocery shopping, getting gas. At the airport one day in the TSA area, a couple people and myself found out this young child was celebrating his fourth birthday and his first plane ride. So of course we had to sing happy birthday. So we sung happy birthday to him, so other passengers joined in, and even some of the TSA people. Time invested in that activity, 30 seconds. Joy created, smiles and giggles all around for lots of people. Our last component for cultivating everyday joy is to keep shining our light. Keep our light turned on. You ever been someplace and somebody say, hey, your lights are on, 
And so before I would say, oh, thanks, now I'm going to say, thanks, really. Mm -hmm. And so this reminded me of, uh, remember the movie from 1984, I had to look up the year, Gremlins? Remember the little character that was the adorable, like little puppy-like, and his name was Gizmo? And Gizmo could not take light. And so he'd say, bright light, bright light, bright light. <laughs> so the solar eclipse and the three minutes of totality that took place on April 8th inspired this idea of keeping our light on. Because I watched this event from a totally unobstructed view. There were no trees, no buildings, completely open sky. I was mesmerized. I became very emotional afterward, and I just wept. So driving home, the colors of everything seemed so much brighter. And later I talked with a couple of other people that said the same thing. And so after a couple of days of processing, I realized what it was. When the sun was totally hidden, when it was totally dark, it reminded me of various times and situations and circumstances where I personally eclipsed my light. I could not or did not let my light shine. Then it occurred to me, this happens to all of us at some point, in some manner, at different times. Anytime we have a limiting thought, like fear or worry or lack or not deserving, not worthy, trying to fit in rather than stand out, we are eclipsing the truth of who we are. We are not in our full Christ radiance. A friend calls this tripping ourselves up. We all have gifts and talents to share. We all have stories about our lives and experiences that might help others, but sometimes they remain hidden even from ourselves. So what if, whenever this occurs, we give ourselves three minutes to acknowledge what is being felt and consciously begin to shift to a positive direction, a higher thought, a higher consciousness? It's like peeling an onion. Sometimes we cry temporarily. However, when the meal prep is finished and the food is done, we can leave the tears behind and enjoy the meal. As we let go of that which needs to go, we're able to believe in greater possibilities for our lives. Couple this with gratitude for who we are and what we have, and light begins to shower us with both numerous and unexpected blessings. A few weeks ago, I sent today's title, Everyday Joy, to Reverend Joanne. This past Wednesday was May 1st. I unwrapped my May-June Daily Word magazine. I looked ahead to the word for today. I'm like, it's joy? And I just started laughing. <laughs> just imagine all of our homes, neighborhoods, and our communities filled with bright lights because we live in entombment with who we really are. You are the light of the universe. Never dim your shine, Rumi. Every 24 hours, the sun rises with the promise of a new day. From today's daily word, each new day is a treasure filled with life's gems found in even the most ordinary moments. Every day has the potential for something extraordinary and magical to occur. A poem called Rejoice by Trina Graves. Seek joy, it is evidently around. If you set your intent, joy can always be found. Hold joy in your heart always, and then your vibration will effortless, effortlessly raise. Bring joy through in all you do, manifesting on earth the greatness of you. Radiate joy to the one and all. Humanity is blessed, the darkness will fall. Be joy, it's who you came here to be. United with love and light, proclaim our true destiny. Every day we laugh heartily, <coughs> love fully, and shine a bright light can be a joyful one. One moment can change a day. One day can change a life. One life can change the world. Gautama Buddha. Would you affirm this with me? Every day I choose joy. Every day I choose joy. I couldn't hear you. Every day I choose joy. Awesome. Let us pray. Sweet Spirit, thank you for lives filled with overflowing joy. May love always be our guide in our thinking, in our speaking, and in our doing. We are grateful, and so it is. Amen. Amen.
And so the song is, I bet you'll be surprised at the title, <laughs> I Choose Joy. <laughs> it's by Terry Wilder. And there's a reframe part. Every time I sing I Choose Joy, there's a, like a repeat. So if you want to sing with the repeat, that'd be great. It can be like a group sing.
think that wraps it up, and we're now ready for the peace song. So let's gather around. Oh, Linda, another announcement. Oh, right. Does anyone have anything, any birthdays or anniversaries you would like to celebrate? Yeah, anniversaries. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot what was made. <laughs> Yeah, you can. 